So this is the series where I coach a silver player all the way to champ. And if you haven't seen episode one, it's over on my channel. So be sure to watch that before you watch this. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be VOD reviewing this player from one of his ranked games. And then after that, we're going to be hopping into a few ranked games. And then again, we're going to be VOD reviewing those games. So it's a little bit more fresh in his head. And I think it's very important, especially some good stuff that we go over in today's video. So be sure to watch the entire thing because we go over perspective and how he's doing a lot of these things wrong. And I would assume a lot of you guys are doing these same mistakes in gunfights that he's doing. If you do want to go check out Noah on Twitch, he does stream. So his link will be down in the description and go show him love and you can see how he's progression. Also, at the end of the video, I gave him a challenge that I want him to make up a defensive and attacking strat for the next video. If you want to give us a challenge, comment down below what some things you would like to see him do for a challenge. I right, so what is the thought process right now with the push? Um, I don't even know. I can't remember. I yeah. think I was like, oh, I think what I was trying to do was just kind of like kind of bait a little bit. And then I was probably just going to end up like drawing it out, seeing where they are or waiting for like, see if they were going to do anything else on their side. Okay. And then if they were to do something, I'd just rotate. But if that didn't happen, I'd just try to push in and then just try to take over hookah. Okay, let me let me see how this plays out. Yeah, I'm gonna get away from fucking his game. Does he? Yeah. Oh, he's already out. Oh, bomb, bomb, bomb. I whiffed so hard on this already. It was so bad. Alright, and you're telling me you're comfortable with the suns. Look, okay. I won't lie. Denley even told me this. No. Yeah. Like, what I do a lot is I'll, like, quick peek stuff, like, 20 times and, like... And I, then I'll walk in. He, he, I'm trying to get used to it, but he told me to just quick peek it like once or twice and get the information you need and then walk in or like, you know, push up. Yeah, because so just doing it a bunch of times. Because if you're holding a static angle, right? Like the, the whole, the only time you should be quick peeking is when you don't have a drone and when you're trying to clear angles based off of not having information, right? Unless you're taking a gunfight and you're trying to reposition and change like where their crosshair is going to be. So yeah, Den Den Denley's right with the, right, right there. Yeah, he told me to stop doing the quick peek and shit. Oh, so, okay, wait, pause it real quick. Can you back up back when you were outside Aqua? Okay, hold up. I'll tell you when to pause. Press play. Okay, press pause. Okay, see how wide you are on this door frame. Yeah. So what can happen here is your body, when that person peeks you on that rotate, or if someone swings you on the bomb, your body is going to be so wide and you're going to get perspective. So if you're trying to hold this angle, I, I know this was only for a few like seconds and it, it's honestly irrelevant for the round, but just try to keep in mind about like where you can be swung. So see on the A bomb, how that Ella was playing on that bomb chassis. If they were to swing right now, your entire body is going to be exposed and you might even get perspective here. So you need to hold this door frame a little bit tighter on the left if you're trying to hold for that, uh, like exactly where you're aiming, if that makes sense. Ooh, that, that, uh, that was actually very close. Like even yeah, on that I warden, lined up. yeah, like you, your crosshair was there. Can you back it up to back when you're on the, uh, on the hookah belt? In this situation, reading where your teammates are, because I'm assuming that's also what you're doing. You're also looking at where your teammates are positioned, right? Because you kind of had the right idea of like holding a cross. But as soon as Amaru, is that, it was that person cute with you guys? Uh, yeah, we had a five stack. Okay, as soon as that, um, as soon as one of those teammates die, throw out a cam, put it under like the hookah couch or just somewhere that will give you consistent like uh, calls if they run out on you and then go big window. Because even though like Buck and whoever, Denley, um, whoever was with him, besides them getting collated, there was just too much happening that for some reason they just got collated. They, they were trying to take Aqua from the looks of it. They got collated. But if you were on big window, you could even have the chance to get a refrag. And even if you get that refrag, then like you have a better chance of winning the round. Um, besides playing Hookah. I don't know why Buck didn't go below for Vert. I'm assuming they they were just trying to go for a default plan. I I don't know. Did Denley call a play here? No. 
No, okay. I'm not sure. I don't really remember much. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, okay, that's valid. That's valid. Um, one thing I would suggest is operator symmetry is like thinking about like how you and another operator would work well. So you and Buck, for example, if you're droning out hookah, get Buck to go down below in sunrise. Buck vert. You throw up a lion call. That guy is uh, like fucked. And if he tries to rotate base side or swing wide on the B bomb or go hook couches, you're right here on the staircase, right? So it's just that that operator symmetry. Um, oh my god, that is the dumbest person I've ever seen. So I'm saying like the matchmaking was weird. Like to be fair, if I seen a drone drop out like that, I'd be like kind of confused. But I don't know if I'd run out. Can you can you back it up like ten seconds when you're when you started fighting the uh, Jaeger? Okay, so see what you did, just did right there. Why do you think you lost that gunfight? <laughs> if you don't know, it's completely fine. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so um, okay, so when you're initially peeking him, you can play it. When you're initially peeking like him. On the bomb. Yeah, you're doing like this wobble shit, and I I, I get the purpose, but like your jiggle peak. Yeah, that jiggle peak. It's so wide that it's absolutely doing nothing for you besides destroying mm. your crosshair placement and like the consistency of your aim. Like you're literally went from head level to like <laughs> like bomb chassis head level, I guess. Um, and that that's what threw it off. If you just like like why are you using jiggle peak in this situation? Are you just doing it out of habit? I think so. Yeah. Like, I don't always, I don't jiggle peek that much, but like, I yeah, do sometimes, yeah. Okay, so yeah, th this type of, especially of glass, uh, it, it is not the wave, but it's okay. Um, just try to be aware of like when you're using, when you're trying to utilize jiggle peeking and like if you're in situations like this, because you could easily just one tap this guy's head if your crosshair placement was just a little bit higher and you weren't jiggling back and forth. Yo, yo, pause that. Yo, remember yesterday when I was telling you about the Ella, like when you're on Aqua Belk and you're holding an angle like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's <laughs> that's exactly what I meant right there, bro. Like if you're holding like a tighter, like nice tight angle on Aqua, she would have been barely able to see you and it would have been a way more even gun foot. Yeah, I realized after two that like, I should have known that the mirror was open the first time she shot. Yeah. I was just saying, I don't, I don't know why I didn't. I, I thought you, I, I thought you were just challenging the gunfight, which in that situation isn't bad because you're in a two v two scenario, right? And you have limited amount of time, so you going for that frag isn't bad at all. Like you need to get that frag, so, mm -hmm. like yeah, like don't be, don't be scared to challenge because that, like you guys have such a minimal like, like map control, and you guys have so 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 much minimal like drone economy, right? Like you're not getting a lot yeah. of callouts of where exactly they're at. So if they're exposing themselves and allowing you to like peek them, like especially in that situation, it's a 50-50 gunfight if you just peek properly. Yeah. Oh, I pause, pause this real quick. All right, so when you when you're positioning yourself service, why 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 like when your head made you think that like that was a good idea? I'm not saying it's a bad idea, by the way. I just want to know like your thought process. Because I was thinking someone behind the mirror popped it, and they were gonna like time their them starting to pre-fire with the glass falling, so they could get the kill. Okay. So I was just gonna wait for that to happen, so I could just like. Take their head off their shoulders. Okay, that's valid. The positioning's good there, but staying there like statically after you know the mirror's not popped yet, like you like there just needs to be more vocal to like Denley or whoever the hell is up there. I think Denley died because I heard him whining like a pig. Um whoever the wow. buck whoever the buck was, like if you were like, yo, uh can you can you pop the mirror and then I, I like tell tell him to tell you when he's about to pop it, and then you can swing to get that rotate. You guys are going to have mm -hmm. so, so much better pressure. And you also have a drone in pocket. So you could have been like, I don't know, maybe droning out sight for Buck while you're positioned on service. And then what's going to happen is they're going to be so pressured from vertical that they're going to forget about you or anybody that was service or they're going to challenge you. And that's going to be 
like you're gonna have the advantage on that gunfight rather than like holding a very static angle on a shield and a mirror you're basically pe peeking into two mirrors your thought process was, was right there it just it was the communication factor right which is fair everybody yeah. gets like you know um mm -hmm. sometimes you just get so like blindsided at trying to get that frag right mm -hmm. every attacking and defense i want i want you and i to both play vertical i'm trying my best not to play well by the way because i keep seeing neckbeards in my comments being like correction the title should be champion uh, carries us over i'm like bro yeah, shut up bro yeah i got you yeah no i saw that comment bro that shit was funny i'm like brother i'm like you do realize i'm just trying to like like this is the first time i'm talking to this person i'm, I'm like people are awkward when they first meet so like i'm trying to break the ice as much as possible yeah it definitely was awkward i could tell in the video i was just like yeah that was expected it sounded like yeah. dead bro but yeah I, i'm not gonna lie i think that's just your voice bro i mean it might be yeah i don't know <laughs> but i think I mean, it's just I used to be voice. more like hyper back then because i have adhd but i've been on adderall for the past like year yeah so. there it is uh do you know what type of adhd you have hell no i don't even know there was pipes yeah bro like uh I, I saw a therapist like a few months ago and she thinks that she thought that i i might have adhd so i had to pay for a psychologist to diagnose me and I uh, like I have inattentive ADHD so well, I know that I can't focus yeah um I get distracted easy I forget a lot yeah I don't remember things um uh I don't know what else to be honest that's I like the main stuff yeah uh I I, for, I forgot what the psychologist told me to be honest because you know I forget shit as well very quickly you want to play, play like alibi or something? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Do you want to play a Rooney or alibi? Yeah. Uh, me and you, what we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs. We're just going to open up the map a little bit. Uh, Dude, I'm trying to think. Who has a secondary shotgun? I'm going to be castling off kitchen. And I'm going to make holes in kitchen. And I'm going to I'm, I'm going to get you to play them, okay? It's for uh. VIP. -ing. It's for the walk-in. It's for all of that. Uh, If you just want to make holes on, you know, courtyard, the feet holes for blue bar. Does it go all across the wall? Yeah, on the, on the very bottom. On this map, you should always be doing those feet holes. I know the bailiff sucks though. Okay, so come here in kitchen. Okay, so the the main reason why I'm getting you to do all this, by the way, even though our teammates are probably gonna slam these guys, is just so you can kind of memorize like the vertical holes on like the most common spots of where they push. So, as you can tell, that's for the wall, this is for the bookshelf area, and then this is the hallway that they push. And if you need to rotate, you can. I'll give you a rotate hole. We get, I'm going to try to shoot the quad shit off. They're joining us out in kitchen. They see that we're shredding. Hookah. Wow, she's still looking at you. Push into hookah, sound call. One's 90 IQ. You can rotate up now. Shock him. I didn't even know he was there. Yeah, it's all good. Um, do you see how you walked up cool vibes and you weren't ads Do you do yeah. that a lot? Um, and sometimes, yeah. Like, and like, is it just situation because we're in a 1vx scenario and like you were scared that you're gonna, you know, you, there were so many angles that they can peek you from? Yeah, and I don't want to like, you know. Okay. I can't. I can only see so much when I'm aimed in. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so. Something you, you are going to want to practice is always like pre-aiming shit. Like even start pre-firing because I noticed you quick peek that IQ. Like that, you could have just like pre-fired. Start pre-firing more. Like just give... First, I didn't even know the IQ was there. Yeah, no, no, that's valid. But if you're going to peek something, you should always have intent to just, you know, maybe tap a bullet or two, you know? Okay. We're not going to do that same shit because that shit was ass. Um, I'm just trying to like get you to be as comfortable as possible playing vert. Right. Like, people watching this are gonna probably be like, what the hell is this guy actually doing? Yeah. But I, I just think... Gonna get cooked. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get cooked. It's all good. It's just, I... I think vertical play is so important. And just knowing the map layout. Peter hatch, so... I'm gonna stroke bathroom hatch. My fault. He's hallway. Marble hall. 
marble hall. Like, whatever this hallway. In bathroom now? Oh, 90 hole? Oh, okay, yeah, that hole. Yeah, it's 90. I got shot from there. I can you up that nice. Do you know why it's called 90 hole? Because it's at a 90 degree angle. Yeah. So any... Just, any hall that... The, like, there's halls that are like... There's a lot of halls that are at 90 degree angles, and I'll call them that sometimes, but they won't actually be called that. Can you... Like, can you give me an example on that? Like, gym bedroom on clubhouse gym bedroom sure Club. it's not called 90. oh uh, okay yeah yeah uh, honestly i if somebody called 90 i think i would still get that but technically you are still right yeah so i think i call that short and long okay but i think clubhouse is kind of like an exception of like giving the 90 call outs because like you know one one hallway short like it's towards gym and then the other one's long towards main and it's the same thing on basement on Clubhouse. There's like that very long hallway and then there's the short hall that goes to Moto. Mm -hmm. But honestly, even even if you gave that call out, I don't think it would be technically wrong, bro. Okay. Uh, what offer you? Okay, so you're, you're, okay. So can you make head holes on both these single walls? It, it doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah, just make, yeah, it doesn't matter. And then, can you make a rotate on this one thing? And then, when you're done, make a hole right here on one thing. Now, what does that see? Uh, main door walking. Yeah, so it's the main door and the main stairs. I use this more or less for the main stairs. You want this hole not to be clear, if that makes sense. Like a good, clean angle. You want it to look like it was a mistake, if that makes sense. So, yeah, because yeah, they'll just watch it then. I think one is running luggage. Yeah, coming out of luggage door. And one, one just fucked up a uh, white. There's like three people over by white. Another one, nice. I'm three ping. Good call. There's okay. something up here. Yeah, they barricaded this up. They barricaded Hall of Fame completely, so... Hold yeah, up, get off your nice. cam. Um... Here. I'm going to drone this guy out. Nobody's tucked right. Yo, he's right here. It's Cav, tucked right. You want to swing in and try to kill this bitch? She's tucked left with a shotgun. Swing it and pistol now. She's running VIP booth and Legion's in 90 with her. They both went 90, went right side 90 and left side 90. She went uh, cool know. vibes. And then one still double 90. No, Legion's theater. Oh, I downed somebody. Where's that Legion? Or uh, any info on last? No, he's not. Bottom white. By the way, when they barricade shit up like that, like guitar, even though we do have to play vert, like penthouse side, I should have told you that before I got you to enter. Um, don't, if you're, leave one of the barricades up until we clear it, because they only have one angle that they can run into us, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they have a castle, and they castled off bathroom. Ah, <sighs> okay, let's, uh, okay. Do you think them castling off a bathroom is a good idea or a bad idea? Like the bathroom door? Yeah, the bathroom door to lobby. Um, kind of bad, but kind of good. Okay, why do you think it's good? Um, one, so they can stop if anyone, if they're not watching that side. Uh, who are you playing as? Oh, you're Buck. I'm Buck. Oh, okay. Um, I think it's good and bad. Good because if no one's covering that, they don't have to worry about someone just being able to walk in a bathroom. Um, and bad because I would say if like if they're pushing uh, the the breach, um, kitchen breach, someone could just swing bathroom and just like kill them from bathroom door. Okay. Uh, here let let me let me explain after this round. 
so I don't distract you too much of why it's like the worst thing you can be doing as castle. I'm just gonna watch blue bar flank for now on, since there's a lot of us sunrise. We actually might. What opera are you? Your Twitch, right? Yeah. How many guys are with you over there? Um, Ayana is. I don't mind. Okay. Uh. Okay. Drop the bomb to one of them and then come over to here and let's double up. Let's go. Uh. Let's take main lobby control since they castled it off. Yo, I'm getting a vigil scanner. Might be white, bro. I'm able to like stay alive here. I can actually show you an example of why this is awful. Oh my god, they reinforced quad wall. Yo, swung hall on pebbles. Left side pebbles. Going blue bar. Blue bar door now. All the way deep blue. Castle's on the default rotate. And then a zombie's blue bar. And then one service. Pixel peak. Running out on you. Damn. Oh, I'm playing bad. Holy, I need to go just faster. <laughs> Alright, uh, come over to me and let's go penthouse. So, back to that castle thing. Even though we lost that round, if we were even a little bit coordinated, like you, us and our team, that's an absolute throw just because they limit map control. If we had a fuse or something and we went above and we fused, they would not be able to get out of sight and they would be trapped. So, castling that makes no sense. You're supposed to always extend out on defense since the main objective is to, of course, limit map control for attackers. That's not limiting shit, to be honest. Okay, pen is clear. I mean, bathroom's clear. Doctor, someone up a hole on the VIP wall. Uh, the right or left? Right side on three ping. He's okay. on it. Okay, pen's clear and all that. So if you can clear that, uh, what's it called? That. No control. way, Dragon Bros. This game is so dumb. I don't know why I'm playing bad. I don't know if it's the map or what. Could be the map. Uh, uh, to be honest, I. How, like, how did you lose that gunfight? Like, you knew he was there, I mean, right? I, pre I pre fired it. Okay. And then. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't see his head. I just pre-fired, hoping that he was there, and then I just got a headshot out of the blue. So, yeah. Sometimes shit just happens. Like, it, it's nothing to get pressed over. And, like, looking at KD, for example, like your win-loss, it really doesn't mean shit. Motherfucker, did you not make rotates? Are you trying to spawn peek? Noah. Mm. Make a fucking rotate, bro. Got no head. God damn. Playing with Denley too much. That's great. Yep. You rocked him. Oh, I'm bombed bomb down though. I might lose my All right. What do you? I'm about to go back to mini ninjas. What do you? What do you do in the prep phase? I usually set up, but like, I think that one. Well, what did I, what did I do that prep phase? I always, I, I usually set up, like, like, a lot. all the head holes reinforced, like. Yeah, like, I actually, like, set up site, but. Yeah, you had a Denley round there. Was it based on, sometimes, like. Sometimes I just, I mean, I was kind of just, like, annoyed that I kept dying to dumb stuff and. Okay, but that. then you put yourself in a situation to die to another dumb thing. By small peeking. It was the map. Okay, I, I, I listen, I agree. Coastline blows, but there you got to see the logic in that, right? No, I do. I do. Okay, I do. okay. Why are we just going to get a bunch a bunch of plats, bro? Listen, man, you play champs all the time, so plats should not matter. No, but like I hate. Oh yeah, get coastline out of here. You hate what? No, like the way plats play is so stupid. And I just don't expect how they play. Listen, that is true. But at the same time, when you're in this ranking, you're in a lower skill ceiling. You should play technically better. I know it, like the logic that you're coming from is these guys, you know, they play idiot. Like they play stupid. They play random. But at the same time, you should be able to be mechanically better than these guys. So it just comes down to your positioning and how you're playing, if that makes sense. Like your yeah. tendencies, like... Your crosshair placement, like pre-firing shit, 
Like, if, if there's one thing that I want you to start doing is literally utilizing pre-fire. Like, tap firing head angles through walls, through right. barricades. Like, fuck spawn peeking 90% of the time. Like, it's cool if you can get a spawn kill, but, like, it, I don't know. It, it's, like, it's very 50-50 most of the time. Yeah. Like, more or less, when you're in, like... When you're when you're playing maps, like for example, like any map, for example, I want you to like think about where they might be, and then pre always pre aim and then pre fire, like that when you're last round last game when you're on coastline when you're in that one vx scenario you could have at least got one you could have killed the guy couches by just pre aiming pre firing and then maybe uh, when you're walking up the plat stairs you can kill that guy that's probably gonna be vase and then it, like so on and so forth. You eat, like you, you don't just like throw out that it's like oh GG's I'm in a one v four right, which I I'm not yeah. saying you are I I'm just like I'm just thinking because it is very overwhelming. Are you spawn peeking motherfucker? <laughs> oh, who usually you? like bro it worked, but like it didn't work that time. That makes any sense. My man thinks he's him. I've gotten it to work before. I've spawn peaked a couple of times in like camp lobbies. Buck coming up shark. Bottom shark. What do you mean in from where? Bottom garage, bro. He just killed Valkyrie. On the window, left side. Oh, reticle. I saw my garage window. Ash one should be absolute. Ash might come up your stairs, your garage stairs. No, I'm going to make out there. Bomb down on side garage window. On the breach, on the breach. Last guy's on the breach, last guy on the breach. Nice. Alright, all I want to say is Noah, notice how I'm not trying to do any extra shit, right? I don't know what's going on, bro. But like, no, no, no. Like, hear me out. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to roast any of that shit. No, I know, I know. Yeah, like, notice how I'm doing nothing extra. I'm literally playing in sight, just playing util, just hearing off the dead teammates, you know, and then trying to act off of like what's happening in the round instead of trying to force the frags. I usually do play like that. Yeah, because you're playing around champs who play like what you're, how you're playing, correct? Yeah. I'm exactly. Sure. I don't, I don't want to roam in those lobbies that much because i'm not trying to get smoked yeah exactly so like you you're how you're being way too confident against these guys because you know how champs play right yeah that's what you're doing wrong like i don't even play like that against these guys i'm playing the same way no matter what Yo, party flank. It'll be somewhere in offices. No, you're. T he's not. He's not office supplies. Oh yes, he is. My fault. My fault. Just talked. Yo, when you're when you're like crouching as well, like fix your crosshair. What do you mean, like my crosshair replacement? Yeah, yeah. Because like when when you're crouching, it's like. You're staying like dick level, if that makes sense. Like you go from aiming head level yeah. to, to penis level. But that was a good use of stun. Um, the flash. On the mine? Yeah, yeah. I thought you were you already cleared that angle. I was like, oh shit. Well, I wasn't at first. I thought he ran away, so I only like flashed. Like the first flash, I just thought he wasn't in there. Yeah. Or like I thought he ran away, but then I heard him shuffle where he was, so I just flashed even closer, and then. Yeah, no, that's great. A lot of players, like, they just try to dry peek shit, and they don't use that. Um, yeah. Like, flashes is actually, like, probably one of the best secondary gadgets. Like, even before nades were, like, completely changed. Just because, like... And it, it not only, like... It's so overpowered when they buffed it, and it also fucks up the sound. So, yeah. even that first flash, like, he probably wasn't hearing anything. I lowered my sense by... My ADS sense by, like, one more. Okay. Yo, uh, use your drone. Pre-place it somewhere in the building. So at least, like, late round, you can actually use it. Alright, I'm gonna get the wall with Ace and Habana. Uh, if there's a pre-place, if you want to set it up somewhere, I can actually get on it. So you can actually take map control if you want, wherever you're pushing. Wait, who? 
I, uh, I'm just gonna get the fr front wall over here on like office supplies. They shot your cam. I can drone right. you in somewhere if you want, actually. I'm I've... coming to you right now. Okay. I'm Habana. Oh, you're Habana? Okay. I thought you were Ash. Nah. Low key? Yo, one's on the B chassis, crouched. Standing now. On this two ping. He's down. I can go from below. Uh, I. I, I hold up. I, yeah, you can probably do that. He's bottom motorcycle right now. Hi, uh, still on the B chassis, crouched. Show my cam. They have a Mel device on garage. There's a Mel device on garage walk up. Oh fuck, I forgot it doesn't open. Oh. Here, I'm gonna push a few even though I'm fat as hell. He's top shark somewhere. Oh, oh they have a mirror. Yo, uh, He's come garage with me. Wow. Oh wait, hub on it. Where are you at? Oh, I'm bottom hitting with you. Alright. Oh, he swung it, bro. He's oh lit. Who does that? Yeah. One stop shark lit up. Get my phone in, bro. Oh. There's a Rick up there, too. He was on the mirror. No, yeah, a little moat. Are you able to hack that, uh, Mel device? On stairs, on stairs, on stairs. Legion was on the bomb to your left. On top of the bomb. One's by breach. On top of the bomb. Ooh, good try. Actually, wow. So close. I'm not gonna lie, his headgear like f me up. Not, not. I think I, I literally, I, I'm not lying. Like I, I, whether I talk to you tomorrow or the next day, I want you to literally come up with a strat on both sides. Actually, on attack and defense, could be the simplest shit on attack. Whether it's like just one strat. Yeah, on attack and defense though. Like I, I want you to think for yourself for like st the strategic aspect of siege. So on attack, you know, me and my friend, we created a, a strat for playing third floor on cafe, a third floor side on cafe. And it's actually like pretty good if you play right. Okay. And I think I remember everything. I accidentally pressed uh, keep playing with team. So no, 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 you're good. Uh, I, I got to get off because I'm about to eat. But right. on attack, I want you to think about that because I feel like I feel like defense is like whatever anybody can adapt to good defensive rounds or like mm -hmm. just basic basic ass strats but i think attacking is is what a lot of people including yourself have like a really hard time like getting a grip on right mm -hmm. um it's also because you don't be using your fucking drones man i'll be seeing your, your you get on a cam like that nomad round and like your drones in narnia okay right, I'm, I'm just going off based off of like what i'm seeing right and like yeah. I know, like when you're playing with me, I'm I'm trying to just drone you in, get you to get map control, so you can get more comfortable just uh, getting map control. But I think drone work is like a, it's gonna sound cringe. It's literally like an art. Like you, like like if you watch pro league, you'll see like specific support players that can really drone well, and like you'll never know there was a drone on you. So it's like getting used to droning and knowing how to clear corners without anybody noticing your drones and actually getting the information and then acting off of it. Cause I feel like yeah. you, you have the mechanics. It's just, you just have like bad habits here and there, which is totally normal. Cause you're, in my opinion, you're, you're still technically brand new to siege, man. Um, cause you've been playing since what? Finier? That That's only like two seasons ago, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, this is like my second full season. Yeah. Have you ever played like any other FPS games? Mm -hmm. I used to be a big Call of Duty player a couple years ago, like MW 2019, playing like, SD in Warzone. Like, what was your first, like, uh, MNK game? 
not any first person shooters besides this yeah so okay yeah so like I, I don't know from the looks of it you look like i'm not gonna say mechanically gifted it's just you're naturally just good at, on mnk which i personally yeah. wasn't so i had to crutch on like knowing the game so i feel like if you just like break some bad habits like for example cro like crosshair placement is one um it's very iffy when i when i do spectate you it's like sometimes you're aiming the right way and then like you crouch or something and then it just goes like belly level and yeah it's also just the way you take gunfights right like like hold up let me let me show you an example actually because i think i want you to practice this when you play um join my screen share real quick all right so okay. that that round where i lost that 1v1 versus legion did you uh, did you pick up on the way like i was trying to take those gunfights and like uh, the way i was speaking or no yeah you're just speaking head level okay besides that even like the way i move like for example if i'm close to a door frame and like if you saw that kill cam when legion killed me like i i first quick peek i pre-fire i pre-fire i'm in and out like a uh like a like a coffee shop let's say that okay i'm not i'm not exposing my whole body swinging like there's situations where you want to swing but when you are trying to take like a gunfight that's very awkward a lot of your gunfights you should just be getting the information shooting if you like you can't like get a dead-on gunfight like for example what you did with that with my a lot of your gunfights should be a little bit more strategic if that makes sense a little bit more using your mechanics and perspective to try to get the frags instead of just running in getting your ass pre-fired from whatever area it doesn't really matter like take advantage of, of perspective how, how well do you know perspective i think i asked you this before but i just want to clarify not that well i would say okay do you feel like you die to it a lot I mean, you know what? Actually, hold up. Probably. Hold up. I want to look at something real quick, okay? This is just sad. That's the worst plot I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, well, this this worst plot shit on you. <laughs> no, I don't want to like, hear it, bro. Like, bro, this is what was dogging your ass. Like, how does it feel? Yo, this. Yo, Garfield, yo, Garfield, meet me on Oregon second floor, buddy. It's not over. <laughs> this has to be the luckiest session of his life. Come on. What am I watching? Bro, this is what you died? Oh my god. Come on, dude. Like, are, are you serious? Okay, so let's see what you saw. Because I'm not going to lie. He has great crosshair placement, but he cannot control any recoil. He got a recoil headshot. Nah, his, his crosshair placement was dead on you, bro. Okay, see right here? Mm -hmm. Where are you aiming? His shoulder. <laughs> on the bookshelf my dude you're not even aiming a head level well, i was aiming before i swung i know that but like you're you're aiming at the bookshelf and you're waiting okay, okay no, no no wait you're, you're you're aiming for the swing for your for your entire body to be to be swung if that makes sense so he's of course going to get the upper hand on you because let's look at his point of view you technically have the perspective advantage on him right now do you see this because he's holding so close you see the tip of his head if you just yeah, took the see that exactly because you're going too fast if you just took the time to just you know one have proper crosshair placement but you're aiming at the bookshelf because you're looking at the red ping right i'm assuming yeah yeah and he doesn't well, even I saw see i saw well, i knew he was on the head hole i didn't even like I wasn't paying attention to the red ping. I don't even know who red pinged him, to be honest. Okay, do you think you were panicking then? Because if you know he's there, then, like, you're aiming, like, like you're aiming, like, this is, like, where my head would be if, if I was in Siege. I'm that short. That's, you're, no, aim, you're aiming Garfield height. Like, okay. Okay. No. Like, kneecap level of Doc? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, anyways. Um, yeah, like, so... Well, to be honest, I don't always, like... I struggle still kind of with aiming head level. Like, I'm not the best at it. So, like, sometimes I'll die to stuff like this because I think I'm aiming head level. But, you're, yeah. but then, yeah, then I'm actually not. Yeah, it's also, like, like your positioning here was good, like, to swing. You had the right idea. But he just had the, the head level. Even if he's completely ass. Like, I'm sorry if this guy is somehow watching this video as How well. that my head? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have one guy. What is this? Couch. 
We have one guy beating his dick watching luggage. We have another guy here on pink, and then we have one on vase. So let's look at I what you're. I could have won that round, maybe. Not anything's winnable, bro. Even w with you, because like if you have proper crosshair placement, you tap their head. Like this guy right here, this zero, he could have like this angle sucks. What is he holding? Like he's just now holding a decent angle, and you need to be all the way up. If you were like closer to the staircase and you weren't gonna run up, you might have been able to see him. Like, look, look where your head's at. So if you were actually ADS, you could have maybe react to that. And that's just a maybe. But it's more or less pre-aiming common angles and then pre-firing it. Because this guy, look at this bot. This is what you're dying to. Look at that guy. That guy that guy can't control it. Like you're a better mechanical player than this guy. What is he doing? I'm dumping my PC in the Mariana's trench, bro. Bro, look at this. I, you gotta watch this again. I'm I'm just so sad. Look at this. Can this hurry up? <laughs> the crap daddy 179! Um oh, you play. I, I guess, but like guess what? I don't be dropping fucking three and eight against <laughs> okay. Crack Daddy. So Crack Daddy, hey, what I can I, what can I say, bro? Crack Daddy, he just made me his son, bro. I'm he's my daddy now. <laughs> no, so okay, so to su summarize everything that we just talked about in the last hour and a half, since it does seem like it's quite a bit, um, when whenever you play next, just like I want you to record your games if you can, if you have enough storage on your PC. Try to be yeah. aware of your crosshair placement. Be aware of like where enemies might be in one vx scenarios, like common angles that you would have held if you're on attack or defense, and just. Just get in the habit of pre-firing shit. Also, try to be aware of when you're swinging something, where's your crosshair? Are you swinging? Or is your crosshair there for if you were swinging very wide and at the end of your swing? Or is your crosshair there for as soon as you're going to see someone's head? Okay. Subscribe! <laughs>